All right, guys, it's time for another episode of How to Drink, and today we're doing Mezcal Mules. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. You guys know Nikki Sensori by now. She knows pretty much everything that you need to know about alcohol, and she is imparting that information to you guys on a weekly basis, along with me, because I drink crap most of the time. Not so, anymore. Not anymore, because I'm becoming elevated and I'm learning. And getting progressively more drunk the more that we shoot these episodes. Every episode, I'm a little drunker than the one you saw. Yes, exactly. So, a Moscow Mule is a quintessential Los Angeles drink. It was started at the Cock and Bowl. Oh, I know that place. Yeah. How it became popular is that they had little copper mugs that movie stars would go into the Cock and Bowl. They would have their own mug with their name on it and that's how they would serve the drink. It came up with the name of buck or mule initially because of the ginger. The ginger is definitely a kick in the teeth. Moscow mule, I actually know this one because I really like them. That's vodka, ginger beer, and lime. Exactly. Mezcal mule, I'm gonna guess is mezcal, ginger beer, and lime. But yes. I see a lot more bottles here. There so are. I'm An ingredient in a mule or a buck is ginger beer or ginger ale. I do them differently at my bars though, just like everything else. I wanted more of that spiciness of the ginger, so what I do is I make a lightly sweetened syrup, mainly out of um, ginger that I put through a vegetable juicer. It doesn't have the carbonation in it. I'm actually okay with that in these cocktails. And these, this is the most popular cocktail at my bars, and it doesn't really need to have that carbonation. Yeah, you don't need the sharks when it. you're getting wasted, right? No, you definitely don't want to do that. Pooping in a public bathroom is really awkward, by the way. Yeah. I have lime juice right here. Okay. Um, which goes really well with the mezcal. I have my ginger syrup here. I'm not necessarily gonna give out the recipe on this because that's a trade secret. It's a signature thing. Yeah. Don't take it personally that she's no. not telling you. But you actually can buy ginger syrup. Yeah. So, so it's just not gonna be as good. Yeah, no. So it's not gonna be a Nikki ginger syrup. Either deal with it or come up with your own delicious ginger syrup. And then uh, we have Peshad's bitters right here, New Orleans favorite. And then we have Demerara syrup. It would be like brown sugar, but it's actually a black sugar. It's very molasses-y. Um, so it's like the Wesley Snipes of sugars? Yeah. Pretty, 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 pretty black. The, the cool thing about me making my own ginger syrup is that I don't put a lot of sugar in the ginger syrup. So that allows me to add another sugar element to the cocktail. Uh, cocktails are all about layering flavors, so you want it to be like the everlasting gobstopper. And let's start out. So use three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, three quarters of an ounce of ginger syrup. I've got two ounces of mezcal made out of agave. And it is a lot smokier and a lot meatier than tequila tends to be. So I like it in this drink because it can actually stand up to the ginger and the lime. All right. And then a half an ounce of our demerara. Just a little bit of crushed ice in there to shake it with. Put that in there. Seal it and... Shake. Just a little quick shake. You don't need to strain this. I like using a metal glass for this. In this case, I'm using a julep cup. I realize this isn't proper presentation for a mule. Usually they go in Collins glasses, but I really like these with the crushed ice, and I don't know, I think the presentation's really nice with them, so. Yeah, if you guys didn't know by now, she did what she won't. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna pile on some crushed ice. So, you want this to look like a snow cone. And then I'm just gonna top it with some bitters. I'm gonna just put some straws on the side, and there you go, mezcal mule. That's fantastic. It's an adult drink, actually. Yeah. And this is something, too, if you order a mezcal mule at a bar or you order a tequila cocktail that you order with mezcal instead of the tequila, your bartender will give you a little knowing wink. 
because you have sort of handcrafted this to control the sweetness, yeah. it doesn't have that overly sweet where like a, a Moscow Mule can be delicious for the first one or two, Yeah. but then you kind of can't keep drinking them, but I feel like I could drink these all night. Well, that's the point of running a business too. You don't want your customers to have one or two drinks. You want them to have 10. It's really, it's just such an assertive spirit. It's, mm -hmm. it's like, hey, what's up? You're welcome. It's the guy that kind of grabs you and shakes you a little bit, but then he gives you a kiss on the forehead afterwards. <laughs> Get over here! I love you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> well, that's it for us today. We just learned how to make a mezcal mule, and I'm gonna be drinking a lot of these in the near future, I can tell you that right now. Also, guys, I've been looking at your comments, so if you wanna keep leaving comments on what you'd like to learn about in the future, we will make a show about it. Thanks for watching, <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to Taste It so you don't miss any new episodes of How to Drink with Nikki and Me every single week.